Just a quick disclaimer before we start the video, most of these are bugs and will end up either being patched or removed. I would not advise using any of these on any multiplayer server, you will most likely get banned. This is just a fun way to show off some bugs. On to the video. Omega statues are very useful when you're trying to make crystals. They will generate infinite of any one item from a loot pool as long as you have enough time. This allows you not to have to worry about automating that thing, as long as you just wait a bit. Unfortunately, they are quite difficult to get, but with this bug you can get as many as you need. All you need is any gifter statue, a statue cauldron, and a shoot from the create mod. You want to fill the cauldron, and throw in any gifter statue, and it will just pop out an omega statue. And you can infinitely reuse this. I have no clue how this works. If someone in the comments section wishes to enlighten me, go ahead. But otherwise, on to the next bug. Alright, so first off, for this next bug, you are going to want a viewer room. Not the paint drop viewer room. You want the mechanical arm slash paint bucket viewer room. You are going to want to hop down. Grab any button and break all of the blocks beneath the bedrock. These are 100% breakable, like you can just use a pickaxe. You will then place a button under each of them and trial and error until you get the right one. And then you can just vein mine the chests and push the button again. And then you have basically infinite loot. This is the easiest one to pull off, you just gotta find the room and you get quite a decent amount of loot. Like even for just like breaking a couple of chests, I'm already at 54 ball diamonds. On to the next bug. Now, this is probably one of the more complex bugs on this list, but we no one really has to worry about it because it'll, this room will only show up once you're past level 250. So most people won't be able to abuse it and it's just not viable to get that far and then cheat. So, how these rooms normally work is you will put a gold onto the pedestal, and then you will press the button, and it'll give you a random result. Now, the pool for these is over here. You have a 33% chance of getting 3 vault gold, so you make your money back, and a 1 in 9 chance to get these, and a 2 in 9 chance to get these. So... You have a 1 in 3 chance of getting something bad, such as time acceleration, the TNT spawned on you, or it permanently destabling the machine so you can't use it again. But you have a you have a 2 in 3 chance of getting something good, such as a gilded chest, a normal chest, or 3 vault gold back. So you make your money back. Now, we don't want these bad ones so we're gonna go in and remove them now i'm gonna go in survival real quick to show you this is completely legit and you can just do it normally you are gonna want to pick a machine any machine works but it does it doesn't really matter you want to go in until you hit beneath the vault bedrock and then you want to worm your way in in between all of this glass is barriers, so you're going to have to break those. I'm going to worm on over. I'm going to break all the barriers in the way. Then I'm going to want to go beneath the, this bedrock. And then we will encounter vault glass, which most players will not see. This is just clear bedrock. Like, it literally does nothing. <laughs> it's just unbreakable. Unless you have roofs, of course, because roofs are the most balanced item. You're go gonna want to dig into the wiring a bit. And then you have access to the top dispenser. You are going to want to take out the red, white, and orange concrete. So now you only have good results. And then you want to go down a bit, 
and get gain access to the second dispenser, which I need to go around because I can't access it from here. You just got to go up a bit. Now I can pillar up. I can take out the red, orange, and white concrete again, because whenever you activate the machine, it'll clone this dispenser here. So you can also take out, say you only want the gilded chests, you can take out all the other concrete. I'm not going to do that for a demonstration, but you can do that. Then you're going to want to place this comparator back. I think that's the right spot. We'll probably live, whatever. <laughs> And then we can just leave the same way we came, except to fail. We can leave the same way we came, and now we have perfect odds. So I can pop in a vault gold, and it'll give me only the good rewards. Now doing this is incredibly stupid and a waste of time because you could just go into the viewer room and get infinite loot there and you get infinite bronze so you don't need the gold or normal chests but it's another way of doing it well that's all the bugs i have for today thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe later